Inshallah, we are going to start. Nahmuduhu wa nusalli ala rasooli al-kareem. A'uz billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Once again, with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are here. I know it's kind of hard, especially on a Friday night when we are back from work and we are trying to rest. So before I start, I have a hadith for you guys or for all of us. Are you guys ready to start? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so since we are all here, I want you to share this hadith with you so that we can uh, appreciate that what we are doing here is it is a lot of value in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is not a waste of time and it is worth our effort and it's worth our patience. So Kathir uh, Ibn Kay said, I was sitting with Abu Darda radiallahu anhu in the mosque of Damascus and a man came to him and said, Abu Darda, I have come to you from the town of messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for a tradition that I have heard you relate from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I have come for no other purpose. So he said, I heard the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, if anyone, if anyone, sorry. Okay. So if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Allah will cause him or her to travel on one of the roads of paradise. So as you can see, we are all trying to seek knowledge. And so we, Allah SWT will cause us to be travel on one of the roads of paradise. So the, Alhamdulillah, that's a big, big news right here. Like this is the best news I can get. Then the angels will lower their wings in their great pleasure with one who seeks knowledge. And the inhabitants of the heavens and the earth and the fish in the deep waters will ask forgiveness for the for the learned man and the superiority of the learned man over the devout devout is like that of the moon on the night when it is full over the rest of the stars so the learned are the highest of the prophets and the prophets leave neither dinar nor darham dirham leaving only knowledge and he who takes it takes an abundant portion so as you can, uh, I'm sure everybody can understand this hadith. There is no need for me to explain to them. So Alhamdulillah, just by making this effort day in, day out, today is our, I believe, our eighth session. Uh, so, so give, uh, you know, a pat on your back and say that Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you for this task. So inshallah, with this, uh, I hope you're all feeling energetic now. And we will start... Uh, the lesson today. We have a couple of things to take care of today. Okay, let me close this and let me share the other screen with you. Okay, so let me share. Is uh, everyone able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. So I'm unmuting now, okay? So in the last uh, two sessions, we started to make sentences and we said sentences are part of, uh, um, you know, a murakkab and murakkab is a combination of two or more words. Everybody remember that? Yeah. Okay. So we said murakkab are of two kinds. One of them is called murakkab etam. And the other one is called Murakkab al Okay. Yeah. Murakkab al because in this kind of Murakkab, the, 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 the sentence is complete, has a complete meaning. So we call it also a Jumla. Jumla is known as a sentence, correct? And mm -hmm. then the Jumla has two kinds. One is the Ismiya and one is the Feliya. The ismiya is known as the nominal sentence and the failure is known as the verbal sentence. Now, 
then what we did, we said that Joomla Ismiya has two parts, Muqtada and Khabar. And we said it has to follow the following recipe that when we talk about the status, they both have to be in the Rafa. Muqtada has to be Marafa and the capacity has to be Nakara. And for gender and number, they are following each other, they're equal. Everybody clear on this so far? Yeah. Okay. So since Muqtada is supposed to be Marafa, we looked at the five categories of the capacity where we could find a good candidate for Muqtada. So we said Alam is a good candidate. And the example of the Alam was Zaidun, Muslimun, because Zaidun is a proper name. With me so far. Then we also did Muarraf bin Lam, and we said Al Waladu, Muslimun. So last time we talked about Zamir. Zamir is a pronoun, and I believe we, we did a lot of exercises on it. And towards the end, I had a very good feeling that pretty much everybody understood it. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Right. So today, as you can guess, we are going to learn Isma Ishara. Okay. So when we learn Isma Ishara, we are going to learn two, two things about Isma Ishara. First of all, we are going to understand what Isma Ishara is by itself. And then we will also talk about the Murakkab Inakis. Murakkab Inakis is of four kinds. We have Murakkab Tosifi, okay, Murakkab Ishari, okay, Murakkab Jari, and then we have Murakkab Izafi, okay. So as you can see, the Murakkab Ishari is talking about Isma Ishara. So inshallah in today's lecture, we'll try to cover Murakkab Ishari and what is Ishara itself, Isma Ishara itself. Is everybody clear on the agenda? Yeah. Okay. So inshallah, I'm going to share some screens with you. Uh, let's do some sharing. You share and let's go here. Okay, so this morning I sent you guys this chart. Did everybody get this chart? In WhatsApp, I sent you this information. Did everybody get it or did you guys got a chance to look at it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Isma Ishara uh, basically is of two kind, and in English it is known as a demonstrative noun. When you have to point to something, so the the nouns you use to point to something is known as the demonstrative. Look at this here, the demonstrative yeah. pronouns, and it is of two kinds. One for the near distance, Isma ul Isharatil lil Karib and the one for the far okay yep. so when i want to point anybody has a question okay so when we, we when we want to point something closer so we say haza what do we say please repeat with me haza haza Haza, very good. So, Haza, as you can see, how many, uh, this Wahid here is determined, they're telling me the number. And here is the gender, Muzakkar and Monnas. And for the Karib, Karib means the near, and Baid means far. So, when I say Haza, basically in English that means this. Yes. What does that mean? 
This. This. Six. And if I point far, I'm going to say that. That. The, the, zalika. Correct? Haza Zalika. Then we, okay, as we know that the, uh, the noun has four parts, which is the number, the gender, the capacity, and the status. So we need to know all four of them, correct? So yeah. Haza is for Muzakkar, for masculine. We want to talk about masculine, we say Haza. When we want to talk about female, we say Hazihi. What do we say? Hazihi. 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 That's Wahid, okay? When we want to say Musanna, what was the rule for Musanna? We add the Ani sound. So ani. Hazani. Okay. Hazani was what status? Rafa. Rafa. You can see it's right here. It says Halat Rafa right here. Yeah. Okay. Now in the Nasab and Jar, we know that the Nasab and Jar for Musanna is the same. For example, uh, mus, uh, Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini. Remember that part? Yeah. So, Hazani, Hazaini, Hazaini. Okay. Everybody clear on that? Yeah. Okay. For the Monas, we have Hazihi, then we have Hatani, Hataini. Okay. okay. So, these are the, the near one. And the Jama for both masculine and feminine is Haulai. Now in the Quran, how many times have you seen the Haulai? You see yeah. it many times, yeah. correct? Yeah. So the information I want to give you is that if you look at this chart, only the Musanna has the halat -e rafa and halat -e nasab and jar, correct? Do you see any status for Wahid or Jama? Yeah. No. No. The reason is because two lessons or three sessions before, we talked about the flexibility of the noun. Remember that session? Yeah. We said there are two kind of uh, nouns. One are the morab and one are the mabni. Okay. And we said haza is the mabni noun. Okay. What is the characteristics of a mabni noun? Inflexible. Inflexible. In all three statuses, it stays the same. So if I have to say halat e rafa, it's going to be haza. If I haza. say halat e nasab, it's going to be haza. haza. And if I say halat e jar, it's going to be haza. haza. Okay. So now, write down the rule that for wahid and the jama, the isma ishara are mabni. What does that mean? Can somebody explain to me what does that mean? Because they don't change. Yes. So the Wahid, Haza will uh, remain Haza all the time in three states. Mm -hmm. Hazi, he will stay the same. Zalika will stay the same. And Tilka will stay the same. Is everybody okay on that? Yeah. Okay. Ha Ulai will be the same. And Ulaika will be the same in all three statuses. Only the Musanna one will change from Halat Rafa. To nasab and jar and we already know how to make those and the yeah. good news is in the quran the musanna ones are very rare they're not used uh, heavily the haza you will find a lot hazihi you'll find a lot zalika yeah. and yeah. Dilka, you'll find a lot of them and haulai and ulaika so inshallah we are going to look at some of these examples today okay so what do we have what we have covered so far can somebody uh, repeat it for me. Brother Shadid. Uh, Sister Omema. Anybody, I need a volunteer. <laughs> I know you guys are tired. But, but I need your participation. Otherwise, it's not going to be fun. Oh. No. What's your question, uh, Brother Ravi? The question is, so far, what we have talked uh, so far, what did you get out of it? What did we learn? Like, yeah, from this lesson? From mm -hmm. At least from this chart. Yeah. So, like, the Wahid and the Jama will remain the same. Wahid and the, the Jama? will be like, yeah, only the difference will be in Musanna. Mm -hmm. 
the it will uh, took a state of alati rafa and halati nasab very good job the thing on the corner will remain the same very good job so alhamdulillah what we are talking here is that we are talking about isma ishara isma ishara is of two kind one is to point to the close things closer things uh, things closer to you and the name is haza which english the meaning in english is this and if you say far then you say that so similarly for masculine and fe feminine we have haza and for feminine we have hazihi muzakkar we have zalika and for mu'nas we have tilka okay so now let's look at some lessons together and here you will get the idea what i was talking about so demonstrative pronouns for near is this for example haza talmizun haza talmizun mm. what is the meaning of that this is a student mm. this is a student so is it a complete sentence yeah right now talmizun mean a student is it a male or female yeah, male, male. male. So you can see the word we use here is haza. When we said it for the female, we said hazihi talmiza tun. Talmiza. Get that? Tamarbuta. Tamarbuta. Very good. Now, if we have to make a dual of that, how are we going to say hazani? Hazani. Talmi zani. Talmi zani. Tilmizani. See that? Here? Can you see? Oh, you see that? Yes. That because we we add the ani sound to the noun to make it dual. And this is for the masculine. And for the feminine is hatani tilmazi tilmizatani. So if you look at here, for female is hatani. And for the muzakka is the hazani. Is everybody clear on that? Yes. Okay. So when we make it a plural, so what do I, what are we going to say? Ha ulai talamizatun. Talamizatun. Right? Talamizatun. Because this is a jama mukassar. And ha ulai tilmizatun. Like muslimatun tilmizatun. Okay, now, so these are the examples of how we use the ishara, which is the near one in wahid, then the uh, wahid muzakkar, wahid monas, then dual muzakkar and dual monas, and then plural uh, masculine and then female masculine. Now, look at here, it says hazihi aklamun. Now, what is aklamun? Kalam is pen. Say that again. Pen. Kalam is pen. pen. Kalamun mean is the plural of pens, right? Kalamun is the wahid, right? Yeah. How do we make uh, the plural of uh, kalam? Kalamuna. Aklam. No, no, no kalamuna because there is this is uh, kalamani. No, kalama no, kalamani will be two kalam, like two pens. Yes. I'm kalam. talking about jama. Kalamun. Aklamun is the jama mukassar. Aklamun. Okay. Right? So when we use jama mukassar, the ishara will be always feminine wahid. Hmm. This is the rule. You need to write this down. Can you please repeat again? I need to tell you one more thing so that you understand this uh, better. Okay. I need to go back to my paper. Let me explain to you this uh, concept so that you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, here. Do you know what is Akil? And where? Where Akil? Where Akil? Okay. Now, in Akil, we have three things. We have the jinn, ins, the malaika, and ins, and In. insan, or you know, people. So, did I write malaika right? Mala, malaika. Okay. Where akil? Anything out of that? 
other than these are ghair aqil now what is aqal sense intelligent intelligent intellect so aqil is the something with the intellect ghair aqil something with the with we don't have intellect okay is kalamun kalamun is what singular yeah the plural is aklamun aklamun and what kind of jama is this mukassar jama mukassar right mukassar correct now mm-hmm. is aklamun aqil or ghair aqil ghair aqil is a ghair aqil so when you have a ghair aqil the ishara will be wahid monas so what is the wahid monas ishara uh, haza is for who haza for men and hazi he for female for monas correct yeah everybody clear on that yeah okay let's go back to our lesson um you share and let's go back here okay okay so you see right here why is it said hazihi now do you understand the reason why is it hazihi mm-hmm. what is the reason yes, yes. because is the jama mukassar ghair aqil jama mukassar ghair aqil very good and what is this hazihi ashjarun yeah same thing yeah the same thing ashjarun is the jama of treasure shajara is free and then jama mukassar so now let's read through this lesson together the demonstrative pronoun is a type of definite noun what does that mean that we already know that the isme ishara is marifa correct marifa is known as definite noun definite. above mentioned examples illustrate demonstrative pronouns which are used to refer to point to what is close at hand meaning these are for the near one haza is the masculine singular hazani is the masculine dual hazihi is the feminine singular hatani is the feminine dual and haula is is for both masculine and feminine plural does any everybody has this any question because look this is what we are talking about we are saying that for the qareeb we have haza hazani hazaini haulai for monnas we have hazihi hatani hataini haulai any questions on this i think that yes any confusion any questions no okay so the next thing is uh in animate object and animals we are talking about ghair aqil are considered sing- singular feminine for all grammatic purposes therefore the demonstrative pronouns for feminine singular hazihi is used to refer to this so the sentences 4 and 5 is the example of what i'm saying in animate objects and animals are what ghair aqil ghair aqil yeah okay so keep that in mind next time when we are using this information now what is the demonstrative pronoun for the far is the zalika yeah. zalika rajulun that is a man tilka imraatun that is a woman zanika rajulani if you look here uh, is the zalika or zanika is for what halat tarafa this is halat halat tarafa but is for is a dual correct yeah dual yeah because so rajulani is dual correct yeah yeah those are two men for the men is zanika and for the fem- uh, women is tanika tanika mm-hmm. imraatani okay so that is for the far when we want to say that and those so ulaika rijalun those are men tilka buyutun tilka hadaika hadaiku so what is the tilka here house is the monnas wahid monnas right mm-hmm. why because buyutun is 
غیر عاقل ریمبر دیٹ روپ سو وین ایور دیر از اے پلورل آف غیر عاقل وی آر گوئنگ ٹو یوز سنگولر right and we have to make sure that we know which one is the near one and which one is the far one if i say those are women then we say ulaika nisa'u or nisa'un okay but ghair aqil always is uh, feminine right yes feminine wahid monness okay so any questions on this by the way no i think there is No. Okay, so uh, before I move on to something else, uh, this one is Arab. Let's see. Okay. So anybody has uh, any question about this chart again? So basically, we just have to memorize this and then just follow this rule. Yes. So if I were you, uh, I will print these out and keep it handy when I'm doing the exercises because Alhamdulillah, I've been doing it for so long that I can remember most of them in my head. But for new uh, students, it's a good idea to have a copy handy so that whenever you need to look at it, you can just refer to it. See that right now I'm flipping tabs just to show you the uh, information, but if you have it in a print form, then it would be easy. Now, remember that in the Quran, uh, the, uh, the best part is that it, the Wahid and the Jama are used extensively. The Musanna are used very little, okay? Now, let's look at some information here. Um, did I close it? I think I closed my screen. Let me open something again. Here, inshallah, I'm going to show you um, the examples from the Quran, okay? So look at this uh, for example. See here, this chart is another chart here, which is doing, telling you the same thing. So when you have time, you can always refer to this one also. See, it says Haza, masculine, Hazani, two men, Haula is two, Hazani, the two uh, accusative and genitive. So, But the, the thing I want to show you is this. Hazihi umatukum. Umatukum. This is your community. Now this one, umatukum, what is it? Is it a jama or plural? Plural. Plural, right? So um, it says... So what kind of plural, uh, what, what do we need to use here? Community is what? Akil or Gair Akil? The word? Gair Akil. Right? So uh, it says plural, <coughs> non-human nouns and broken plural, right? Yeah. Hazihi. Hazihi. Umatukum. Umat. Umatukum. Umatukum. Sorry. Umatukum. No, it's... Uh, okay. Okay. Now the next one is Wahaza Kitabun Musaddikun Musaddikul Lisanan Arabiya. And this is a book confirming it is it in Arabic language. So where, why is it Haza here? It's singular. Because Kitabun is Muzakkar. So what Muzakkar. kind of ishara is this? This is a ishara for near and it says, and this is a book. You see that? It's not that book. So if we to, it's supposed to be that, what will be the ishara then? Then one is Hadi. Zalika. Zalika, sorry. Zalika. So now the next ayah, we have seen this one. Qala ana Yusufu wa haza akhi. He said, I am Yusuf and this is my brother. So haza akhi. Akhi is male or female? Male. So which kind of ishara is supposed to be here? Haza, because Haza is for the male. Qalu in Hazani la sahirani. What is Hazani? Female. Dual. Dual. Dual near. Male or female? Male. Male. Dual masculine. So Hazani, that they said, these two are surely magicians. 
magician. Alu in Hazani la Sahirani. So you you're saying the application of these uh, demonstrative pronouns from the Quran, and this is very good exercise. So Anna Yuhyi Yuhyi Hazihillahu Bada Mautiha. How will this be brought back to life by Allah after its death? Okay, so here we have the Hazihi because we are referring to something monus in the sentence. Mm -hmm. That's why we are using Hazihi. So, how will this be brought back to life by Allah after his death? Okay. Qul Hazihi Sabili Adu Ilallah. Say, This is my way, I invite towards Allah. And again, same thing again, this community of yours is certainly one community. And then this ayah from Surah Al-Baqarah, La Wala Takraba Hazihi Shajara. Now here, Shajara is Monas or Muzakkar? Monas. So what kind of Ishara we are supposed to use? Monas. Hazihi. Hazihi. So this is the kind of information I would like you to keep in mind. And next time when you're reading Quran, uh, I'm sure that on every page, every other line, you will bump into one of these. So try to start identifying them. The next one, Summa antum ha ulai taktuluna anfusakum. Then you are the persons who kill your own people. Now here, antum is what? You all. You all. So is it a plural or dual? Plural. And antum is male or female? Male. Male. So ha ulai is male. In this context, ha ulai is a male, which means. Uh, uh, who here is saying you are the person who kill your own uh, people uh, how will I supposed to be then you are the pe person so instead of doing the those they are their translating is differently a little bit you see what I'm trying to say because mm. how will I is those people those in the translation for how will I is those um, if the demonstrative pronouns comes in a possessive sentence, then it will come after the possessive phrase. Okay, it's a little bit advanced topic, but inshallah we will uh, cover that later. Uh, you have this uh, document in the Google Drive, and inshallah try to uh, look for this. So for the uh, the ishara baid, karib is for the near one, and baid is the the far one. So here we have some uh, uh, ayahs here, Pilkar Rusul, those messengers. So those and these. What is the difference between those and these? Far and near. Those and these are near. Near. Question. Yes, please. Silica is for female, right? Say that again. Silica is for female. Yes. And then Rusul is a <laughs> province. Yeah, but is it Jama Mukassar? Oh, okay. Right? So with Jama Mukassar, we use the Wahid Monas, right? Okay. So, Tilka Ayatullah. Right? Tilka Ayatullahi. These are the signs of Allah. And then, Zalika. Zalika al Kitabu la Raibafi. This is a book, and it is a guidance, sure, without any doubt, from Surah Al Baqarah. Those messengers we had made some to excel others. And from Surah Al Kahf. And Musa said, That is what we had been seeking. Sorry, why the Tilka Rusul? Rusul is not masculine. Tilka is Jama Mukassar. Oh, I see. Right? We, we had a rule earlier. We said when there is a Jama Mukassar, the ishara which comes before it is supposed to be Wahid Monmas. Okay, it's a rule. Okay, so all the, the, the Fazanika Burhani Mirrabbe. So those two are the proofs of your prophethood from your fosterer. So is this from uh, Suratul Taha? Is it? Is it, is it Fazanika? So if you see, it's the Fazanika is not that common in the Quran. Mm. Is Brother Louis there? Yes, but I'm not sure actually. Okay, no worries, inshallah. So this one, we, I think we all uh, recognize. Ulaika Allah Hudam Rabbihim wa Ulaika Humul Muflihum. Is it from Surah Al-Baqarah? 
yeah. uh, the first ruku. Those are one uh, guidance from uh, their fosterer, and those are the person who are successful. Do we recognize these, this ayah, this verse? Yes. Alhamdulillah. So this, this is uh, isma ishara. Everybody clear on it? Or do we need to talk about it? I think good. Now, Just, brother, um, sorry, somebody has a question? Just one more run through if possible, please. Is okay. And for the benefit of the people who just joined, let's, uh, let's quickly do a quick review. Now, who joined a little bit later? Is Brother uh, Rabani? Is that what you, you just came in? I just came in as well. Okay. Yeah, Shaikh. We have um, Halaka in the Masjid. That's why yeah, I know late. I was there myself. So let me uh, just quickly do this again. Okay. So we started with a few sessions ago. We started with the Murakkab. Correct? Yes. And we said Murakkab is of two kinds. Nakis and Tham. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Tham is the one where the sentence is complete meaning. Right? Yes. And we said Tham is also known as a Jumla. And we have two kinds of Jumla. Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Fehiya. Okay? So the ex additional information we added today, we said that we are going to look at the Murakkab Naqis. And we have four kinds. Murakkab Tawsifi, Murakkab Ishari, Murakkab Jari, and Murakkab Izafi. Okay? So since we are dealing with the Isma Ishara today, it will be a good idea to touch upon Murakkab e Ishari. Okay. okay. So the second thing we said that we are dealing with Jumla Ismiya. Jumla Ismiya has two parts, Muqtada and Khabar. And the four aspects of the noun, like such as status, both Khabar and Muqtada has to be in Rafa. And for capacity, uh, Muqtada is supposed to be Marafa and Khabar is supposed to be Nakara. Agree? Gender and number, they are they're supposed to be equal or they follow. So whatever the gender, they both have to follow. And then we said, since Muqtada is something we need for a Jumla Ismiya, so what could be the best candidates? And since it's a Marafa, we looked at the capacity and we had five categories. So we said Alam is one, Zamir is one, Isme Shara is one, Isme Mausula and Marrabilla. In the very first session, we did the Alam example, which was Zaidun Muslimun. And we also did the Marrabil Lam example, and we said Al Waladu Muslimun. In the last session, we talked about the Zamir. Everybody remember that? Yes. Okay. So in this session, we decided to talk about Isme. Okay, so Isma Ishara, first of all, we want to know what Isma Ishara is. Like Zamir, we did a table, and, and when we say Isma Ishara, we need to know, because since it's a noun, we need to know its four uh, aspects. The gender, the uh, number, the capacity, and the status. We know the capacity already, we know that Isma Ishara is always Marafa. Agree? So now we need to know the number and the gender. So for that, um, before I switch my screen, uh, one more thing I said that we divide things uh, into aqil and ghair aqil. Okay, so jinn, the malaika, and the insan are the aqil, and anything out of that is ghair aqil. Okay, so when we have a jama of a ghair aqil, when we use a ishara, we use a monus singular. We use feminine singular ishara to to donate uh, to report before the jama, especially jama mukassa. Everybody clear, clear on that? Yes. Okay. So now let's go back to the screen which I had earlier. So then we had this. Um, let me open the new share. Okay. So do you do you see this uh, chart, brother uh, Rabani? Yes. Sir. And Brother Louis? Yes. Now, I sent this chart earlier in the morning through WhatsApp for a preview. So as you can see, that is, uh, there are two kinds of isharas. 
one for the, the near, which is called Qareeb, and one for the far, which is called Ba'id. Okay, and then again, we have the gender, Muzakkar and Mohannas, and we have the number, Wahid, Musanna, Jama. As you can see, that Wahid and Jama do not have Halat Rafa and Nasab and Jar. Do you know why? Go back two sessions. Uh, go back two or three sessions. I'm asking Brother Rabbani and Brother Louis. Uh, two two sessions back, we talked about flexible and non-flexible nouns. Remember that part? Yes. yes. What were the names? Mabni. Mabni. Who said Mabni? I did. Okay. Good job. So okay. the isme ishara of category wahid and jama are mabni, which means in rafa, nasab, and jar, they don't change their status. They stay the same. Rabani, are you with me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And halat rafa and nasab and jar is only applies to musanna. So that is why, what is the, the uh, dual for haza? We add the ani sound. So hazani. And what is the uh, nasab and jar? Like we said, musli, uh, muslimani, muslimaini, muslimaini. Remember that part? So yeah. hazani, hazaini, hazaini. For the sahib, the nasab will be hatani, hataini. And for the far one, we have zanika, uh, zainika, tanika, tainika. And for the jama, we have aha ulai for both male and uh, female, and ulaika for male and female for the bayi. Okay. Everybody clear on that? Yeah. Okay. So then what we did. So ha ulai is the same word, one word. Yeah. That's one word, yes. Ha ulai is a plural, mean these. So based on the sentence, I can say these men, or I could say these women. Yeah, and in Tazwit class it says this Hamza is um, Jais, I don't know. Uh, this Hamza is what? It's Madh Jais, because of two words, but I don't know why they said that. Okay. Like right. said, one word. The thing we need to know, I mean, uh, we don't want to uh, mix, mix the rules with the Tajweed and stuff. Haulai is a isme ishara for Jama for both male and female. That's just remember. Okay. Right? Ulaika is for the far for both male and female. And inshallah, we, we, and this material, by the way, is available on your Google Drive. And please take a look at it. You can download it. And then we go, went through the lesson and we looked at uh, complete sentences. And this is how we talked about so far. So I think at this point, I would like to talk about the Murakabe Jari. Is everybody okay? Then we can continue. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, so let's go back here and let me do this. All right. Okay. So let's talk about a sentence. We say this is a pen. Uh, can somebody give me the Arabic of this? Haza Kalam. Haza Kalam. Kala? What will be the Haraka? Kalamun. Kalam. Kalamun. Now, what is Haza? Can we can we uh, break down the the uh, four it's parts? Of it? Status is what? Is Haza Rafa? Rafa. No, not Okay, is Kalamun Rafa? Yes. No. Yes, Kalamun is Rafa, right? Yes. Okay, is the uh, capacity wise, is it Marafa? No. Yes. Is this Nakara? No. Okay. Is it Wahid? No. And this is Wahid, right? Yes. And this is Muzakkar, and this is Muzakkar. No. So what is this recipe? This is for Murakkab Right? Complete sentence. Jumla Ismiya. Uh, agree with me? Yeah. yeah. We have been doing this 
for a long time, almost two, two or three sessions, right? Now, if I say something like this, this can. What do I say? This pen. Is that a sentence? No. Is it a complete sentence? No. no. I need more people to agree with me because it looks like you lost. We should be able to say it right away that this is not a sentence because we just said right here, this is a pen is a sentence, right? Now, is the Arabic language have this is? No, no. no. Why does it come? It come from this combination. The marifa and the nakara combination brings the is in the sentence. Okay. So if I say this pen, so what will be the uh, in in isme ishara also has two parts. Let's let's talk with isme ishara has two parts. One is called isme ishara. And the second part is called Sharun Lay. Okay. In this sentence, what is the Ishara? What is the Arabic of this? Haza. 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 Right? And what is the, uh, where are we pointing to? Towards what? Pen. Pen. So Musharun Ale is the object which where you're pointing to. So what is the uh, Arabic of pen? Now, I'm not gonna put the harakas or the status yet because I want to explain a few things to you. The way we had the rule for Murakkabitam, we said Isme, uh, this is not Isme Shara, this is Murakkab. Sorry, Murakkab Ishari. Okay, Murakkab Ishari. Murakkab Ishari is what? Nakis, right? Nakis. Sorry, what's going on? Okay. So, do we need the rules for Murakkab and Nakis here? So, for what this rule is very simple, we say status. Capacity, gender, and number. So what is the rule of Murakkab Ishari? In the status, gender, capacity, number, they are supposed to be equal. So, what is Haza? Haza is Rafa or Nakara? Rafa. Rafa. So is if 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 this is Rafa, and um, so sorry sorry. Haza is Marfa. Is it Marfa or Nakra? Let's let's start with Marfa. Yeah. Marfa. This is Marfa, right? Yes. So if I say the capacity they're supposed to follow, then what will be the Marfa of the column? Al Kalamu. Al Kalamu. Correct. Mm. So what happened now? Has the column. So they're both Marifa now. Is both Rafa? Yeah. yeah. Is both Wahid? Yes. Yeah. Is both um, uh, Mudakkar? Yes. Yeah. Right. So this has become yeah. Murakkab Ishari. And the, the translation is this pen. This pen. Okay. Yeah. By this combination, you have broken the is part. This is a pen. Look at this. Haza kalamun, hazal kalamu. Now this alif and this alif. What did, what happened to this alif now? What kind of alif is this? It's silent. So this will be hamzatul wasl. Hamzatul wasl. So the, the word will be hazal kalamu. Hazal kalamu. So did we get this part? Can we yeah. can repeat this part? So Isme Ishara is we know that Haza is Karas of two kinds. We know the near one and the far one. And we did a very good exercise on it already. Now we're talking about the Murakkab Ishari. And Murakkab Ishari is known as a fragment. 
or a phrase. And this one was a sentence. Why? Because this is a murakkabita and this is a mapis. Are you with me? Are you able to see the difference now? Yeah. yeah. We have been saying that from day one. So how do we differentiate between them? This is our recipe for murakkabita and this is our recipe for murakkab Shari. Okay, so hazal kalamu, that means this pen. Okay, now if I have to make a sentence of, uh, we said in the early uh, subject or session, we said we are making sentences with mufrad plus mufrad. What does that mean? I said, uh, they don't muslimun. Right? That was a simple sentence, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. But now our job is to see that how can we make bigger sentences and we can put a murakkab in there. Okay? So let's try to make a jumla smear with the murakkab in it, with the murakkab ishari. So let's say I say um, hazal kalamu. Okay? And I say is beneficial, or uh, the column is this column is new. So, what is the Arabic of new? Jadid. 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 Let's put it this way. Now, how many parts a Jumla Ismiya has? Two parts. Two parts. What is the first part? Muptada. Muptada. And, and the second part? Khabar. So, in Khabar. this sentence, what is the muptada? Can I say hazal kalam? Hazal kalam jadid is no. So is can I say haza is muptada because it's a noun and it's the starting? Yeah. Will that make a proper sentence? What is the muptada here? Can somebody guide me? Hazal kalam. So if we look at the line here, then this is Muqtada and this is Rakhaba. Right? So, Hazal Kalamu, is it already Marifa? Yes. Yes, because Haza uh, is Marifa and Kalamun is Marifa. Correct? Because this is a fragment now. It's not Mufrid anymore. We are using a fragment. Okay? And Jadidun is supposed to be rafa, right? Yes. So what will be the rafa will be? Jadidun. So hazal kalamu jadidun. This pen is new. Can you see that information from this sentence? Mm -hmm. So what did we do here? Instead of mufrad, we used a phrase here, which is Murakkabe Ishari, and here we use Mufrat. You get that. Yes. The, the reason we are learning the Murakkabat is so that in a Jumla Ismiya, where we can where we can put that we can with Murakkabe Ishari, it is always going to be the Muptada. Mm. So our goal is to know that which murakkab can come as muqtada and which murakkab can come as khabar and which murakkab can come both as muqtada and khabar. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying here? It's exciting now. Alhamdulillah. So hazal kalamu jadidun. So this pen is new. So alhamdulillah we have used a murakkab to basically made our sentence. So now let's look at some other stuff. Let me show you here. The information I was given you was this. And on your own time, uh, you guys can look at that. So look at this sentence. Haza kitabun. So haza is what? We learned that, right? What is kitabun? Musharun, the thing we are pointing to, Haza is a demonstrative pronoun, so we are pointing to something. So that thing we are pointing to is known as Musharun, Ilay, Ilay. 
right? And haza is this is a book. And what is this? Is a complete sentence. Agree? Yes. Because mm -hmm. haza is marafa, kitabun is uh, nakara, right? And haza is uh, rafa, and kitabun is rafa. Haza is singular, kitabun is singular. Haza is male, kitabun is male. So all the recipe for the jumla is there? Yes. Now look at this. Zalik al kitabu. That book is an incomplete sentence. So what is this? Murakkabe. What kind of murakkab is this? Murakkab ishari. Murakkab ishari. Mashallah. Okay. Now, Brother Fawad, are you with me so far? Okay. Yes. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, so you you understand now why this Zalik al-Kitabu is uh, not a complete sentence. I've just given you the dissection or the analysis of it. Because in murakkab ishari all four aspects of the noun has to follow. Since there is an ishara in the beginning, we know that ishara is a marifa, then the mush musharun alay has to be marifa. Okay, and when we have the marifa plus marifa combination, the is is lost, right? Okay. So again, let's go back to our page here and let's look at some examples so that we can do this uh, learning a little bit further. Okay. So he says, write suitable demonstrative pronouns for far distance before the following nouns. I think this is, there is a typo here. Is he meant near? Okay, the person uh, who wrote the book, he meant near because when I look at the solution, um, I see all the uh, the close uh, the near one. Okay. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Okay, so who can put the number one? Do you understand the question? What am I looking Haza, for? Haza Kitabu. Hazihi. Hazihi? Why Hazihi? Oh no. Because it's for far. No, I said. This is a typo. This is basically near. Okay. So write suitable demonstrative pronouns for the near distance. Don't say the far distance. So what is the near one for the kitab? Is kitab singular or plural? Singular. Singular. So what is the singular pronoun, a demonstrative pronoun? Haza. So, anyone? Haza. 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 Mashallah. Number two. Zuja Jatun. So when you are putting a ishara, you look at whether it's a plural or is it a male or female. So what kind of uh, word is this? Zuja Jatun. Haulai. Haulai. Zuja Jatun. Okay, very good. Is everybody agree with Brother Fawad? Yes. Because it's a female plural, right? Yeah, yeah female plural, but it's the same. Yeah, Jima will be the same. Okay, we'll look at again together because if I look at now, then I give up the answer for the next one. So, look at this, Fatima too. What is Aisha? Brother, Fatima. can you please let other people Fatima. take a shot at it? <laughs> Mashallah, you got it. Okay, so what is the third one? Who can answer? Some some sisters should. Uh, uh. And why do you say Hazi? It's a girl. It's a girl. Okay. All right. So the next one is Ardun. This is a trick question. Now somebody who's been paying attention will get this one. Hazihi. Why Hazihi? Because it's um, the place mostly they are like the fem uh, manas. Ardun is manas. Yeah. Who agrees with Sister Nusrat? I. No. Is it Hazihi Ardun? Yes. Hada. Hada Ardun. Sister Nusrat, you were correct because Ardun is female. 
So hazihi. So let's look at the answer. Haza, hazihi, hazihi, hazihi. Number four. Okay. Agree? The name of the winds, uh, Asama, Jannah, you know, Ard, these are all female uh, nouns. The next one is a, also a trick question. Maybe Brother Rabani can do this one. Aklamun. Aklamun. Hazihi Aklamun. MashaAllah. Why did you say Hazihi? Because this is Gair Akal. Gair Akal. And also Jama Mukassa. Jama Mukassa. Very good job. Now, the next one, I think Brother Louis should be able to pick it. Uh, Osfurani. Hazani Osfurani. Hazani Osfurani. Why you said that, please? Can you explain? Because it's Musanna and masculine. It's Musanna and masculine. So, Brother, uh, let's see, number six. And number four. Hazani. Do you guys agree with him? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Next one, seven. Let me see. Uh, let me see who else is uh, listening right now. Okay, Sister Umema, can I ask you number seven? Hello, are you there? Looks like she's not. Okay. Uh, Brother Taj. Brother Taj. Are you able to hear me, Brother Taj? Brother Taj is have a microphone, but it looks like he's. Okay, number seven is Haulai. Tilmizatun. What is Tilmizatun? Students. Group of female students. Female students, mashallah. So, number. Uh, seven was how lie okay. okay let's see shamsa ani ani sound hadani 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 or hatani 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 Atani. Why is female, right? Yeah. Let's see if I'm correct or not. 20 is Hazani. We were both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we all made a mistake. Okay. Um, which else we can do this one? Okay. Mm. 50. Who can do the 50 one? It's an easy one. Hazihi Nisaun. Hazihi Nisaun? Is Nisa singular or plural, Brother Uh, Sorry, guys. Haulai. Haulai. Okay, good job. It's Haulai. Okay, who can do number 40? That's very easy. Haza Zaidun. Haza Zaidun. Very good job. Okay. Ha this one, Rijalun. Who can do this one? Hada Rijalun. Hazi Rijalun? Hazi Rijalun, right? 41. Let's look at 41. Is it Hazi or Haulai? Haulai. Okay, because we, oh, we, this is Ghair Akil or Akil? Akil. <laughs> That's where we made the mistake. Because it was, if it was Ghair Akil, then it will be Hazi. Okay. But yeah, uh, you you said tilka rusul, right? And there you mentioned. Yeah, but we have two, jama. We have, also jama, right? I know we have two rules in there that it has to be ghair akil and then the jama mukassar. But rusul is not ghair akil. It's a, it's a combination of the rule. So rijalun is uh, akil, and it is a jama, so it is haulai. <coughs> but rusul is also akil, right? Not ghair akil. You're right. So, well, let's look into that more because uh, right now this is the answer they got. So we thought it was how Hazihi, but it's how okay. Okay. I know the time is running uh, late, so let's quickly do a few more. Okay, who wants to do because this one is a blank. 
uh, let's do that on your own. Let's go into number three. So here we are saying, fill in the blanks with the appropriate forms of noun given in parentheses. So here it says, Hazani Talibun. So what will be the, uh, the correct say? Hazani Talibani, right? One. This is the example. This is the example or sample. So what is here? Imra Atun. Haulai. Imrat. I think they're going to use Nisaun. Okay, so let's take a look. If I go to exercise three, say they use the word Nisaun. Okay, this one. Hazihi. Hazihi. Kutubun. Hazihi Kutubun. Mashallah, brother Rabbani, now you did the right. You said the right word now because Kutubun is Jama Mukassar and is Ghair Aqil. Ulaika Vilaini Ulaika Raju Rijalu. Number three is Rijalun because the Jama for uh, Rajul is Rijalun. Okay. Ha Ulai, this one very easy. Muslimuna, mashallah, because Aulai is Kubo and Muslim, Muslim, Muslimun is Muslimuna. Now, this one will be tricky. Use your sister Afi, this one. Hakani, Talmiza, Talmizu. Very good job. Right here. Yeah, female. Okay. Because Hatani was female, and here they give a male. So this is our this was a trick. This is the trick thing here because we we went for this guy, so that's why we we said Mizani, but it's actually Hatani. Hatani is for the female, so that's where they trick us. Okay, this one, Hazani. Hazani Kitabani. Hazani Kitabani. Hazani Kitabani. Mashallah. Very good job. Very good. Okay, Haza. Haza Hak. Hakun, right? Let's see. Aza Hakun. The Jama for Hakun is Hakun, I guess. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. You guys want to continue this or should we call it a day? We can do a couple more and then. Couple of more? Okay. All right. Haza Tajirun Aminun. So what we have to do, we have to make the dual and the plural. So look at the uh, dual, Hazani, Tajirani, Aminani. You see, every word here become dual here. Can you guys see that? Yes. And look at that. Hazani become Haulai, and Tajirani become Tujarun, and Umanu. Mm -hmm. so, Aminani becomes Umanu. Umanu. So Haza, Hazal Kalamu, Saminun. First of all, who can uh, translate this for me? Hazani Aklam. This, this is pen a is pen. New? This pen is cheap. Cheap. Okay. Samanun is small, right, Brother Louis? Saminun uh, is, uh, I think, valuable. Oh, Saminun is valuable? Like expensive, yes. Oh, you know why I was said cheap? Because remember in the Surah Yusuf, they said they bought him for a very little money. Ah, Baksun, yes. Baksun. Oh, that was Baksun. So just thank you for correcting us. So, Hazani. Hazani. Kalimani. Kalimani Saminani. Saminani. Okay, let's take a look. Number four. So, Hazani. Hazi. Hazi Nis. Like they're saying, Hazi Nisal. Oh, how do you say that, brother Louis? I think there is a there is a mistake. There is, there is a mistake. Hazani is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Hazani is the right one. Yeah. Hazanil Kalimani Saminan. Okay. Yeah. What about the uh, plural? 
of this. No, the plural will be aklamun, right? Aklam. So let's take a look. Hazihil aklamu saminatun. Okay. Why we said hazihi in the plural? Okay, you know there are a lot of exercises in this uh, this subject. Look at this. Look at this. Haza kitabun. Now haza kitabun is a sentence, right? This is a book. And hazal kitabu is what? Yes. ishari. This book. Hazal kitabu mufid. This kitab. This book is beneficial. Sure. So we need to do the following. We need to translate the following sentences and phrases into Arabic. Okay. okay. So who's ready to do this? Brother Rabban. What is the Arabic for fan? What is the Arabic? What is the Arabic for a fan? Marwahatun. Marwaha. Marwahatun. So how are we going to say the Arabic? This is a fan. Hadi marwahatun. Hazihi marwahatun. Hazi marwahatun, right? So that's good enough. Let's see. Hazihi, sir. Hadi. Hadi. Marwahatun. Yeah, because marwahatun is female. Female. Okay. I see right here. Hazihi marwahat. Mir, mir wahatun, mir wahatun. Guys, you can see uh, this proves that how weak we are in Arabic. First of all, I myself, I said, I give a disclaimer in the beginning that I myself is a student, and I find out that it's very hard for me to pronounce these things. So I need to work a lot more to you know get a handle on these things. Plus, I guess we are really tired. It's uh, that time of the day also. <laughs> yes, long day. Okay. More and then, Sleepy. Yeah, we are already. I'm half asleep. I guess. Okay. This fan is fast. This is a tricky one. So this one is a murakkab jari one. Murakkab fast. This fan is fast. Okay. Ahad. Hmm. So this fan, Hazi Hill, Marwahatun, Marwahatun, Sariyatun. Okay, let's take a look. Hazi Hill, Marwa, Mirwahatun, Sariyatun. Alhamdulillah, we're doing it. We are, we are, we are getting it right. Yes. I was thinking, uh, in this, uh, like, sir, like very exact uh, example, we can say in Arabic. I think that will become Sifa, not uh, yeah. right. Yeah, that will be this is a fast fan. Yeah, yeah, but if you say this fan is fast, then Brother Louis, this one is a Murakabe uh, Ishari, right? So we cannot break it like the way you're saying. I have to follow the rules. This this is the. No, I think what he says is like um, this fan is fast. Yeah, that. Yeah. So this uh, this, this is, is a fast. We had to add this uh, the khabar part. Uh, mubtada become this. This part is mubtada. Mm. This part is khabar. And yeah. then basically the the recipe makes it the uh, the fan is. Otherwise, it will be not correct. Right. That's what we went over with this example. Hazal Kitabun and Hazal Kitabu. So Hazal Kitabu is a fragment of phrase. Okay, so I leave the uh, the exercise seven for you guys. Now, how are we feeling, by the way? Can I have a quick feedback from you guys? Good. Good. Who's that? No one. <laughs> no. Okay, Danny, is that you? No. No, okay. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. I, I know uh, we're all tired. I think we should go. Sorry for all the mistakes I made.
But no. I think at the end of the day, Alhamdulillah, I think we're getting the concept. Maybe we'll repeat this lecture in the next session and just do some review on it. Okay? So, Jazakallah Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.